The alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Quan struck a resounding victory at Cherbi. This crushing defeat forced Cao Cao to put his ambitions on hold. However, as Cao Cao had managed to escape unharmed, Sun Quan was unable to take any decisive actions. As long as Cao Cao was alive, they must slowly chip away at his strength and work towards building their ideal world. This was Zhuge Liang's plan to help Liu Bei turn his dream into reality. With Cao Cao unable to strike, Liu Bei turned his attention away from Sun Quan and built up his military forces. He then invaded four of the territories in southern Jing. Upon being sent to attack Changsha, Guan Yu found himself face to face with a most powerful opponent. It was the veteran general Huang Zhang, who served beneath Han Xuan, the prefect of Changsha. Han Xuan is a weakling. But if he has experienced officers in his ranks, then this may take some time. against you, Lord Guan Yu. Do what you will with us, but please spare the innocents in the castle. Our brother will treat you all with mercy. And so, Liu Bei obtained the four territories of southern Jing, as well as the skilled officers Wei Yan and Huang Zhang. He was also joined by the strategist Pang Tong, who is said to be a match for even Zhuge Liang himself. Meanwhile, in return for his assistance at Chirbi, Sun Quan demanded that Liu Bei hand over Jing. Zhuge Liang replied only that they would eventually return the province, but he did not give a clear answer as to when. Furious though he was, Sun Quan deemed it too dangerous to attack Liu Bei at that time. Instead, he sent his younger sister, Sun Shangxiang, to marry Liu Bei in the hope that it would improve relations between the two kingdoms. It was then that Liu Bei received a request for reinforcements from Liu Zhang of Yi. Fearful of Cao Cao after his conquering of Guangzhou, he had come to ask his relative Liu Bei for assistance. Zhuge Liang and Pang Tong recommended that they go on the pretense of assisting Liu Zhang, but then attack him instead. The land of Yi to the west, also known as Ba Shu, if Liu Bei could capture that territory, then the land would be divided in three between Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and himself. This was the path to his land of virtue. This was Zhuge Liang's Three Kingdoms strategy. Though he did move to assist Pang Tong and the others, Liu Bei did not attack Liu Zhang. Even standing before Yi's lower castle, he did not make a move. For within him was a virtuous heart that he could not turn against. Mm -hmm. So you won't consider attacking Chengdu, huh? 
Huh? I cannot betray Lord Liu Chang. But my lord, the people of Yi province desire your rule. Silence. My army stays put. That is an order. Now then, I hope you don't mind helping me out, lads. Not at all! I crush enemy! That's the spirit way, Yan. But try not to focus too much on achievements. It's the end result that counts. This is dangerous terrain to fight on. We could find ourselves in the hands of an enemy trap. <sighs> Understood. Liu Zhang is merely an indecisive fool. Both the people and even his own men are calling for our lord to replace him. Why is he the only one who doesn't see it? He is a man of virtue. The situation he now finds himself in is at odds with that virtue. Well, if it is to help him realize his ideals, then I suppose we should pitch in and help him. Indeed. We simply need to take the castle ourselves. If we do so, then surely he will do what is needed to occupy the lands of Shu. I have served Lord Liu Bei faithfully. Never before have I gone behind his back. But I know that this land is essential to his dreams. For my lord, and for my family, I must help us build a land of virtue and benevolence. I feel sorry for Liu Fang. They bring him in, and now he's not needed. If anything, he's in the way. I just hope he watches his back. I feel sorry for... I feel... It must be difficult for him to turn and attack a relative that asked for his help. However, this is a necessary step for Father to unite the land, and by doing so, create a world of virtue. Lord Liu Feng is Lord Liu Bei's adopted son. Of course, now Liu Bei has his own son. Have you seen the vegetable patch over there? Lord Juga Liang is making us grow turnips. They're supposed to be good for us. The contrast couldn't be greater. Our Lord, with his spirit of benevolence, and Liu Zhang, the very picture of incompetence. We have some former retainers of Liu Zhang in our ranks. They will be valuable in this battle. This place is known for its natural defenses. The enemy trap could be anywhere. I only hope our lord won't be angry that we didn't tell him about this attack. Sometimes families fall apart. It can't be helped. Lord Juga Liang knows about this, right? So the only one who's in the dark is... I suppose we should get moving. We're likely to be noticed if we just hang out around here. Understood.
Loa Castle is a near impregnable fortress. And the enemy knows we are coming. My lord Wang Zhong and Wei Dan in our ranks, we cannot fail. Pang Tong, I will need you to assist Wei Yan. I will make for Luo Castle from the river. Enthusiasm, but Lord Wei Yan needs to realize how valuable he is to our cause. If you were called to help us fight so see what you think of this. Yet now you turn your blades on us? Shall 
return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. Hey, I defeated an officer. This is a pain in the neck. There is no point going this way. We must find another path. a good shot. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Okay, I'm going. Lord Huang Zhong is in position to execute the Emperor. What should we do? To ensure the success of the plan, we need to draw out the enemies in front of the castle. But there are a few more of them than I thought. I don't like the idea of going up against them alone. Zhuge Liang sends news. He has sent Lord Zhao Yun as backup. 
Well then, we should clear out the enemy by the river to ensure he can arrive. think alike. This battle cannot be avoided if my lord is to achieve his goal. I will do what needs to be done. In that case, let's draw the enemy out. Our brother is a kind man, and as such has his weaknesses. It's our job to be his strength. Fight me now, for glory! than I thought. Pang Tong, what have you done? Thank you! My lord! 
What is this? Hear those voices, my lord? The people of Ye Province are happy. These people... They were waiting for me. Go on. Go to them. Excellent! This is... You... You're hurt! It seems... I will be making my exit... earlier than planned. Duga Leon... It is in... your hands. Though Pang Tong was lost, Cheers of joy from Liu Bei's army and his peasant followers flooded Loa Castle. Liu Bei could not help but think that this was not the right path. But to avenge Pang Tong's death, and to answer the fervent desires of the people of Yi, Liu Bei advanced his army on the Yi capital of Chengdu for he had finally made up his mind to attack Liu Zhong. Meanwhile, hearing of Pang Tong's death, Zhuge Liang left Guan Yu in charge of Jing and set out to join the battle. He joined up with Liu Bei, and together they looked to swiftly capture Chengdu. Driven by the lost dreams of his fallen friend and ally, The dragon would soar over the hills of Yi, where the feathers of the phoenix lay scattered in the wind. If we can secure Chengdu, Yi province will be ours. Lord Liu Bei will finally have a country of his own. And with the land divided in three, then. I bring news. Lord Zhang Fei has gone to Lord Liu Bei's aid. Our troops await your orders. Very well. All forces, advance. I know... Marching toward our target. I do not want anybody to fall behind. Lord Liu Bei's virtue is known to the people of this land. They would welcome his rule. Hong Tong's devotion showed me the truth. I have no doubts about this fact.
mine. Call upon the thunder. victory. Approaching from the north. After he was defeated by Cao Cao, I heard that Ma Chao was working for Zhong Lu. Zhong Lu is not worthy of it. It would be quite a coup if we could acquire his services. Report! It seems that the Allied reinforcements have arrived! Lord Zhao Yun is heading for Ma Chao to talk with him. He is taking Lord Li Hui, who knows Ma Chao well. If they play their cards right, we could acquire ourselves a very powerful ally. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. I call upon the thunder. Wow! You're really fighting hard, aren't you? Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all.
This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. You have proven yourself a raving beast. Now I shall gauge you. Own peril. This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. than a prepared mind. My strategy shall be studied for centuries to come. Oh, astounding! You believe your wits are a match for mine? than a prepared mind. Fought off, Southside. You're right. 
I've been a fool. My enemy is Cao Cao. Lord Liu Bei should be my master. I am grateful for your assistance. Together we will build the world our Lord dreams. Stand against me at your own peril. Do exactly as I have told you, and you will not encounter any problems. This many enemies? <laughs> no problem. Think about who you're talking to. <laughs> I'm John Fei of Yan. You come to save me? This doesn't hold well. Stand against me at your own peril. is spreading in Liu Zhong's ranks. Some men have already fled the castle. Hey, you're not bad. I can't let you beat me, though. You displayed fine leadership. Certainly you can make use of my strategies. Spoils of war. A group has a much better chance of taking an officer's head. You have not the power to rule this land. You still insist on fighting? My lord, there is no point in fighting on. Accept defeat and surrender. You decide when the blood shall call upon the thunder. that you were not great enough to rule in this time of strife. And Liu Bei, he is great enough? A benevolent ruler. With Chengdu in his hands, that is what Lord Liu Bei has become. All was proceeding just as Zhuge Liang had envisioned. Liu Bei captured Yi, claiming the territory as his own. And the land found itself divided into three, with Liu Bei of Shu, Cao Cao of Wei, and Sun Quan of Wu. At long last, Zhuge Liang's Three Kingdom strategy had come to fruition. Against this backdrop, the province of Jing, located at the center of these three kingdoms, grew more important than ever. While relations between Shu and Wu had worsened as they fought for control of the province, that all changed when Wei invaded Hanzhong. Liu Bei proposed a ceasefire with Sun Quan, and returned to him the eastern portion of Jing. And in return for the land, he asked that Wu participate in a joint attack against Wei at Hefei. Just as they promised, Wu attacked Hefei. For a while, Jing once again knew peace. Having secured Jing, Zhuge Liang sent Huang Zhang and other top generals to take the fight to Wei. The battle would take place on Han Zhang's Mount Dingjuan. It was there that Zhuge Liang realized that the land of virtue they had sought for so long was finally within their grasp. are as clear as day. Ha! That's quite a shot. Ugh. It's too far. There's no point. Unless you're as good as me.
Securing Han Jong will bring stability to the kingdom of Shu. <laughs> After all, even we old folks have to think about the future sometimes. <laughs>